how is everybody doing? Sun is coming down as we speak. I wanted to share with you. Oops, this is quirky. There we go. Ah, enjoy. Oh. After we enjoy the sunset, I have a little bit of a wisdom to share with you that I will do shortly. But for right now, let's just enjoy this beautiful sunset. It's really bright now that the summer is coming, so we we won't be able to enjoy it for a long time. But um, as it's going behind the mountain, it's a perfect time once again to say thank you. We appreciate you. Thank you for the powerful day. Thank you for your reflections. Thank you for all the photons you have been sending. I don't know if you can hear the birds, but as I shared with you before, the birds know when the sun is setting they have innate wisdom that tells them and they literally are facing the sun as it's setting in groups it's so profound to witness anywhere in nature will witness that thank you son mm -mm -mm. I would love to hear from you how your week has been. It has been a powerful week of May 1 through 7. Today is the 7th. Another pow powerful number. Oh, thank you, son. Hmm. It never gets old. It really doesn't. Not for me, anyway. Thank you so much for joining me, for watching. How they say here, going, 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 still going, still going, and gone. How was that, you guys? The good news about the wind is not only that you cannot hear me, but no matter what I do with my hair, <laughs> it doesn't matter because it gets crazy. Okay, so I have a beautiful reflection. I have a flock of lovebirds that come for dinner at the bird feeders at this time. I know, they are brilliant. They know. Oh, and thank you for posting the quotes yesterday. Um, I so appreciate that. I thought they didn't post and they did, but I have a beautiful learning experience that I want to share with you. So on Wednesday for our Wisdom Wednesdays, I shared a few things. One of them is... I really want to move forward um, from, you know, regret and kind of could have done it better into the space of creation. I was like, okay, that's really nice. Um, and that's very abstract. And the mind, you know, if I could have done it, I would have done it a long time ago, right? So I had this, this experience yesterday and I really want to share that with you. Um, as I was, you know, posting for you the, the building of the TP and it's actually what it is it's a private land that I have been asked by the people that live here is not to necessarily share the name of it and so I have felt really kind of like under pressure to honor them and not to share it and then I had a question on Facebook like where are you I was like oh I can't you know I I'm still wanting to honor these people and I'll share it so I didn't know what to say um, and so instead of me just honoring that and saying exactly what I just did I um, I asked the person oh could you just please not ask me where I'm at because I can't really answer that and I realized after the fact it's like oh my goodness that came from such a place of like control and constriction and it just the question was so spontaneous and from the heart 
And I didn't mean it that way. I really met it with the fear of the person asking me not to share because of their fear, whatever the world is right now today. And I can honor that and respect that. And I thought, oh my goodness, like I came from that place and I asked and the, the moment I did that, I could feel like, ooh, this wasn't right. So I really reflect, reflected and I went back and I said, I'm so sorry for asking that. This wasn't okay. This was really my process to do um, and to really respect and not to be putting it out there. And the moment I send the message out, and I'm going to share these beautiful mountains with you as I do that because it was so profound. It was like the universe was helping me figure, oh, look at this. This is gorgeous. But look at these mountains in the back. Can you see that? They still have the sun on them. So while the sun has set behind the mountain over there, <laughs> these guys are still high enough to actually enjoy the sun so we'll just do it like that so as I send the message of you know I'm sorry I knew in the moment that I send this you know I started beating myself up I like I, I shouldn't have asked that I could have done better like oh it was this regret right like what am I and so in the moment that I'm doing this which is my go-to it was so clear it's forgiven it's done it's complete it's forgiven it's forgiven and it's like it's it was so clear it was forgiven by the person and then the message I got was everything and anything so my go-to is I'm like the queen of regret you know how could I have done it better how could I have showed it better how could I be a better person and serve better and so what that does as I share with you on the Wisdom Wednesdays which I'm gonna continue today on the Friday is it relieves so much energy in the past that stuck there instead of being me using it going forward to create and I really got it the universe has moved on a long time ago it's like all these regrets right even this one from yesterday but all these regrets it's like the universe has moved on a long time ago now is the time for you to do the same and it was so clear it's like just feel it sink it and move on forward so there was a beautiful reflection actually the next day after the wisdom wednesday which i thought was so beautiful just helping me move forward and then the other thing that i want to put out there for you and um, i'm gonna have you kind of think on it and feel on it and reflect on it is what is your go-to like what is your go-to in the times of you know let's say not every day is the greatest happy-go-lucky day right there are some difficult times like I did something and I didn't feel so proud of myself so my go-to is beating myself up and regret and could have done it better should have done it better and I thought in the moment that's my go-to and I have to create a new go-to that as soon as I realize I'm going here I can switch to the new go-to so before I share with you mine I would love to have you reflect if you feel inspired on yours and then maybe we can revisit tomorrow. Tomorrow is Sunday, so we'll do lots of reflection. So this will be a perfect time. Oh no, tomorrow is Saturday. No, we'll have plenty of time. So let me know because I'm so curious if that resonates with you as it's just so simple. And yet once it kind of sinks in deep, it's, it becomes, you know, in our conscious awareness, we can really move it and shift it. So that's our completion of wisdom wednesday for today on friday the 7th seventh is my lucky number i love seventh i was born on the seventh so seventh always feels like such a powerful day and remember you know we're going from five six seven eight nine ten all the way to eleven and then eleventh is the new moon so we are really building up on the power of the month of may so High five, good for us. Anything and everything you want to share, please do. 
I love it. So Miss Jiva is sharing here that she now goes outside and spins around like a kid as soon as she catches herself. I spin to shift my energy. You know, yes, anything that will break the pattern, right? Oh, this is good. See, done. Ooh, I was spinning. But this is awesome. So anything and everything that will work is because the go-to is always for the most part unconscious and it's the pattern it has been the safety it has been the protective personality that's keeping us safe right and so now we rise to the conscious parts of our creative self and creative personality and that one will help to anchor our going forward so how does that sound beautiful thank you so much for sharing this beautiful seventh sunset and I can't wait to hear from you. Please share in the comments or post on, you know, freely. And I will we'll return tomorrow. Thank you. Have a beautiful, beautiful rest of the evening. See you tomorrow. Bye.